traders. Let's do this. Boom. <laughs> yeah. God, I love this. I love it so. I love it so. Woo! Yes. I love it so. <laughs> I hope you're doing great, traders. I hope you're doing great. I'm doing awesome. I'm doing awesome. Doing awesome, guys. Doing awesome. Hope you guys are doing okay, too. Yeah, let's do this. Woo! 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 Hmm. <laughs> Come on in. Got something amazing for you today. Amazing for you today, guys. Something amazing for you today. Come on in, come on in, come on in. A few more seconds. Who is in the house today? Miami's in the house. I know. I know Miami's in the house. I know you're there. I know Miami's in the house. Who else is in the house? <laughs> Boom. International audience here today, guys. International audience here today. I've got traders from all over the world. I'm so proud of that. That's amazing. Boom. Something very, very, very powerful I want to share with you today. Um, while this won't be my last free event of the year, it might be my last really, really big free event of the year. So um, I'm excited about that. And I'm excited about what I'm going to share with you today because we're going to address, um, wow, all over the world. Wow, guys. Oh, my God. This is crazy. <laughs> wow. We've got over 96 different countries represented by traders, uh, 96 different countries represented by all of the people who are registered for this event. Um, we have over 23,000 people registered for this free event. Now, usually nowhere near that number actually shows up for the event. So they take the, they take the steps of registering for the event, but a lot of people don't show up, but we're sure to have, um, you know, thousands and thousands of you from all over the world. I want to thank you. I want to, I want to thank you for being here. I want to thank you for showing up. Um, of course, if you, uh, happen to have to miss a portion of this presentation, it will obviously be on my YouTube channels um, forever. Uh, so um, uh, come back and make sure you complete it if you're not able to complete it. And certainly, uh, I be I've always believed that repetition has a very big value, especially when it comes to um, items such as trading. So please come back to actually repeat the presentation multiple times if you can. Um, I would love for all of you to help the algorithm, uh, or as some people say, help Al Gore's rhythm <laughs> by simply hitting the like button um, and making sure that you take the time to um, mention a comment on the finished, on the finished presentation. All right, your comments here are great, but on the finished presentation, they really count. All right. I also want to make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that so far, because I spend a great deal of time, guys, making sure that I put out something every single day that's designed to sort of help you from a psychological point of view, from a technical point of view, from a systems point of view, from a financial point of view, from a market point of view every single day. That's 365 days a year. A lot of time and effort goes into that. Um, it is my desire to leave a legacy of knowledge, of sound, solid knowledge uh, on my YouTube channels uh, for those of you who are interested in trading the markets professionally for a living. So today, guys, I do want to delve into uh, what I consider to be two very important topics. That is trading for income and trading for wealth. That is going to be our themes today. 
And um, there is this notion that is very dominant in the, tr in, in the financial arena where people feel that they have to make a choice between these two styles of market play. They, 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 they believe that, they, that, that if you are a short-term oriented trader that's, that specifically focus on generating daily profits, that that is one style and you have to stick to that one style and you can't really adopt a style that's, that's designed to basically be in your place much longer from a wealth point of view. And that is an error. I'm going to show you how, not only how to play the markets for both simultaneously, I'm going to also try to convince you that you are not a complete market participant unless you are attacking financial markets from these two specific vantage points. All right. Um, they are similar in nature, but there are some key differences and those things we'll talk about today. Uh, we're gonna, I'm going to share with you specific strategies and concepts that will help you attack the markets from an income perspective as well as a wealth building perspective over time. Now, most traders, listen to me carefully, guys. Most traders will always start with the income side of the equation. They'll start with income, which is fine. The idea behind that is that most people need money, need to be, be able to generate money or generate profits daily or weekly. Um, obviously, people have bills. They have to take care of the, their, their daily lives. And it, so it's quite natural to start there. So the idea is for a trader to, first of all, become profitable first, and then after being profitable, grow the profitability to the point where that profitability can take care of your daily life and the, and the daily lives of your family members. That's goal number two, all right? Because profitability doesn't necessarily mean that you can support yourself from that level of profitability. So the first goal is to become profitable in the markets. The second goal is to grow that profitability to the point where you can comfortably live from that, that profitability. That's goal number two. And goal number three is to take your level of profitability beyond what you need, comfortably beyond what you need, okay? Once you get to that particular point, you should definitely be focused on taking the excess and putting it into style number two, which is the wealth building approach to the markets. And this is exactly how... I started my career all the way back in the mid-1980s. I started off as a NASDAQ market maker on Wall Street. I was a short-term oriented trader. My average holding time at one particular point got as small as four and a half to eight minutes for a specific play. But then my profitability grew to where I was generating far more than I actually needed on a daily basis. And that money has to be put to work. You can't save that money. Savings is not the route to wealth, all right? Despite what our parents and our grandparents taught us, that is not the way. We have to invest our way to wealth. And so that excess capital must be utilized in the markets in a slightly different way to generate generational wealth, to generate um, money on what you don't need for a day-to-day -day basis. And Having this two-pronged approach to the market is being a complete holistic trader, all right? Just being a day trader doesn't cut it. Just being a long-term wealth builder doesn't cut it, all right? Simply because there are times when playing the markets for wealth is choppy. It is not producing. Every market has its cycles. There are times when Playing the markets for income exclusively is better than playing the markets for wealth. And there are times when your wealth approach to the market is rocking and the market's lack of follow through on a shorter term basis is not really generating the level of income that you're used to. So by marrying these two styles, right, you're diversifying your play across financial markets. All right. So this is what I want to talk to you about today. And I strongly encourage that you, wow, Microsoft is moving here today uh, to the downside right now. Um, what I want to make sure that you do, traders, is I want you to take some notes. 
I want you to be prepared to take some notes. Um, Usually, I don't get an opportunity to take your many of your questions live, but what I'm going to do um, is perhaps maybe even have a follow-up live Q&A based on this presentation um, sometime in a very near future. But I do want you to take notes, um, uh, and uh, I don't want you to take the notes too, too, in, a, in, a, in too detail of a way because you can always come back and get the detail, all right? I don't want you taking notes on one topic, and I'm already on the third topic after that, and you're missing what I'm talking about right now. So take notes in a very general way and come back and repeat this presentation to fill out the detail of those broad notes that you take right now, okay? So what I'd like to do is go to our presentation. Um before I delve into the meat of our topic today, let me, for the benefit of those who are with me and have no idea who I am, let me just um, briefly tell you that, listen, I'm the founder of an organization called iFundTraders.com. Um, this is, I would say, my, my second big project. Um, my first company after leaving Wall Street, my first independent company was a company called Pristine Capital Management. Many people know that company by pristine.com. I opened the doors of Pristine Capital Management or pristine.com all the way back in September of 1994. All right. It was a very scary move for me after leaving a very successful career on Wall Street to start my own independent firm, um, not being backed by anyone. And over a 12-year period, I grew that firm into an international powerhouse. Um, I taught tens of thousands of professional traders, many of which were top traders on Wall Street, and um, became recognized as one of the go-to firms and one of the go-to individuals for financial institutions who wanted to train their traders to play the markets professionally. Now, of course, I have a 36-year-plus professional trading trading career, um, 40 years if you 40 years plus if you count the idiot years. Um, the industry chose me as the inaugural keynote speaker for the first tr international trading event, all the way back in 1999. As I've mentioned, I've trained thousands of traders worldwide. I am the best-selling author of five international trading books that are written in five different languages, English, Spanish, um, uh, Japanese, German, uh, and Mandarin. Uh, I have 5,000 plus equity forex and crypto traders spread all over the world today. And I continue to be an international speaker and consultant for financial organizations all over the world. So that's who I am today. Um, for those of you who have no idea who I am, you can do a little bit of research a little bit later if you like. Um, but I believe that I do have a right to speak to you in an authoritative way today. Um, this is uh, an article written on me when I gave my first inaugural speech for the industry's first event. The industry chose me to be the face of the entire industry for two years in a row, all the way back in 1999 and 2000. Um, this is where Barron's ranked me Um and my organization, number one in the United States. They, so they basically announced the fact that if you want to go and learn how to play the markets professionally, this is where you need to go. And um, this is a very, very uh, a quick image of some of the books that I've written on the topic of trading the markets for a living, as you can see in various different languages. And this is where I'd like you to follow me. All right. Um, I spend, as I told you, a great deal of time making sure I put f an, a, a piece of free content out into the world on my various YouTube channels. I have YouTube channels in three different languages, English, Spanish, and Portuguese. Um, I also put out uh, material primarily every day on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I'd love for you to follow me, and it is from these sources that I get many of my ideas um, of what to put out for you. And also it is through these sources that I actually, um, get an opportunity to answer some of your questions. All right. So let's begin guys, get your notes ready and let's talk a little bit. Now, one of the first things that we need to establish first is 
time frame, right? Because time means everything when we're talking about the markets. And choosing the right time frame does increase the odds that you play the markets more properly. So you can have the best technique in the world. You can be one of the best traders in the world. But if you are applying that technique and that skill to the wrong time frame, if your timing is off, then your skill is for naught. All right. Your expertise is for naught if you choose the wrong time. So time frame is the first key. Oh, I spelled that wrong. But anyway, time frame is the first key to um, trading properly. So here, when it comes to trading for income, we're talking about short-term oriented trading. We're talking about trades where you're looking to make $300 here, $400 here, $800 there, $200 there. That's not wealth, that's income, okay? That level of, 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 in, that level of money generation is income, it is not wealth. It is not the tens of thousands of dollars per play. Um, this is the $800, the $1,200, the $600 win, the $400 win, the occasional $150 win, the occasional $1,500 win, $1,100 win. But again, that is an income approach to the markets. And when we're talking about hitting up the markets for income, the, one of the key time frames or charts that we're going to view the markets and play the markets from is the two minute time frame. On this time frame, every bar represents two minutes of trading. We're gonna, and so here is a two minute chart of Apple. I grabbed this image from today. This is this is today's activity actually. Every bar on this chart represents two minutes of trading. Of course, the green bars represents those two minute periods where your stock opens, I mean, your stock closes higher than where it opened during that two minute period. If you're dealing with a red bar, you're talking about a stock that closes lower than where it opened for that two minute period. So every bar represents two minutes of trading and you have obviously a series of up two minute periods, green and down two minute periods, red, very simple. Right, so this is one of the key time frames that my traders and I use to hit up the markets for short-term oriented income. We're looking to make three hundred dollars, four hundred dollars, one hundred and fifty dollars, a hundred dollars, eight hundred dollars, six hundred dollars, like that. Okay, the other time that the the second time frame we use is a five-minute time frame. So we use two time frames to pull income out of the markets. In this case. Every chart is, is basically made up of five minute periods or each bar represents five minutes of trading. So as you can see here, same stock, today's activity is here. All right. And yesterday's activity is here. Okay. Every bar represents five minutes of trading. Of course, the green bars indicate that over, over the last five, over this five minute period, this apple closed higher, this is the close, than where it opened. The bottom of the green is the open, the top of the green is the close. If it's a fat red bar, all right, it's indicating that over a five minute period, it closed over the last five minute period lower than where it opened during the last five minute period. And of course, you look at the chart and there's a series of up and down five minute bars. Again, this is an income generating time frame. All right. But the five minute time frame will allow us to capture income at a slightly larger amount. So the two minute time frame will grab smaller profits on average, but more frequent profits. Okay. So I want you to understand that the two minute time frame. The profit per trade is likely to be smaller than the five minute time frame, but the frequency of your profits will likely be higher. So you'll make the smaller amounts more frequently. You'll make the amounts on the five minute time frame less frequently, but those amounts will be larger. No need to choose. We can always play them both. Okay. Two minute and five minute, 
These are our income producing time frames. All right? You've got to get your time frame right. That's the first key. So we've established the income time frames are two and five. Now let's go to the wealth building time frames. We're going to look at a daily chart where every bar represents one full day of trading, not minutes, a full day of trading. And here is the daily chart of Apple. All right. We're looking at today's incomplete bar so far. But here we have every day represents every bar represents one full day of trading. All right. The green bars are up days. The red bars are down days. And the no color bars. All right. Are neutral days where the up or down portion is not very um, significant. The difference is not very significant at all. All right. Daily chart. And then, of course, the second time frame is the weekly chart. So every style really should have a minimum of two time frames to play off of. All right. And so the income style, the two minute time, the two time frames are two and five. The wealth style are daily and weekly. Now we're looking to play wealth for weeks to many, 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 many months. Okay. Weeks to many, many, many months. Income, we're looking to play minutes to an hour or so. That's a very important distinction, okay? All right, I'm going to repeat that, okay? I need you to understand this. When we're talking about playing the markets for income, Knowing the duration of your trade, knowing the window of time that you're supposed to play is very important. You want to focus on anywhere between an average eight minute trade to about an hour. All right. Can it be shorter than eight minutes? Of course, at times. Can it be longer than an hour? Yes, of course, at times. I'm talking about where the majority of your trades are going to fall when you're producing when you're producing income. Now, some people who are not familiar with short-term oriented income producing trading, they actually instinctively believe that it's probably a less accurate form of trading and this is untrue. Very untrue. In fact, the smaller you go in time frame, the more accurate you're going to be. Now, this might sound intuitively wrong, but it's not. Let me give you an example of this, okay? If I were to ask you where you're going to be five years from now on this very day, September, what is it, September 9th, okay? Five years from now, uh, on September 9th, at this specific time, you would have absolutely no idea. If I were to ask you where you'd be one year from now, September 9th, okay, one year at this very time, you'd probably still have no idea. If I were to ask you where you'd be one month from today, maybe sometimes you'd get that right every now and then because of a planned event or something. But most of you still wouldn't know. But if I were to ask you where you would be tomorrow at this time, you would start to get that right. And if I were to ask you where you would be one hour from now, you'd get that right more frequently. And if I were to ask you where you would be five minutes from now, you'd get that right 99% of the time. Every now and then, life is going to throw you, throw a wrench in the program, and you're going to get it wrong. Somebody's going to have an emergency and you're going to have to leave and you thought you were going to be here in five minutes or some event happened to delay your arrival. And of course you can still get that five minute window wrong, but not very often. But if I were to ask you where you'd be every two minutes, if I were to ask you where you'd be two minutes from now, you'd get that right. You get that freaking right. Almost 100% of the time of your life. And so what I'm telling you, 
when you play the markets from an income perspective and you shrink the window, your accuracy goes up, okay? It doesn't go down, it goes up. In fact, it goes through the roof. With proper risk management, you can play an income numbers producing game. Eliminate those that don't eliminate the, those that don't work and let the ones that work flourish. Now, the average window is two minutes to a maximum, more or less, generally speaking, around an hour. So on the two minute time frame, your holding time frame is going to actually typically be um eight minutes to 20 minutes on a five minute time frame your average holding period is going to be um 20 minutes to an hour so it bumps up a little bit with the five, with the five minute quite naturally it's a bigger time frame so it's important to understand that because if you're demanding that the two minute do what the five minute's supposed to do, you're barking up the wrong tree. If you're demanding that the five minute deliver you gains like the two minute's supposed to deliver, you're barking up the wrong tree. If you're demanding that the five minute do what the daily is supposed to do, you're barking up the wrong tree. So you see, you can be great, you can be good, you can have your strategy down, but if you pick the wrong time frame and you demand something from that time frame that it's not designed to deliver, right? You're still likely to fail at this. So getting the time frame right is extraordinarily important. So understand that. Income producing, two minute, eight minutes to 20 minute trades, okay? Five minute, 20 minutes trade, 20 minute trades all the way to perhaps maybe an hour or so. All right, we got that. Good, good, good. Let's keep going. All right, let's keep going here. All right, what's the next thing we have to do? Well, we have to talk about moving averages. Now, we've got our we've got our four time frames: income, two and five, wealth, day and daily and weekly. We need to put moving averages on these things. Let's do it now. We need a 20 period simple moving average. If you like exponential, that's fine. But 20 period simple moving average on the daily, on all the charts actually, and a 200 period moving average on all the charts as well. This is our moving average buddy system, okay? We're looking at the same two minute chart of Apple. The blue line is the 20 period simple moving average and the, the red line is the 200. Now, these are simple moving averages. All they're doing is smoothing out the data for us. The blue line is averaging the last 20 minute, the, the last 20 closing prices of each bar and smoothing it out to show you what the average closing price over the past 20 bars, 40 minutes in this case, is the 200 is smoothing it out from a larger time time perspective and giving you a 200 average all right and so when you're using multiple moving averages you want if you're using multiple moving averages understand this you want there to be a rather large difference between the two right it becomes a bit redundant if you're using a lot of moving averages that are relatively close in time range to each other. So the 20 period moving average is 10 times smaller than the 200 period moving average. And that's a perfect buddy system when it comes to moving averages. You want them far apart. Another way of saying this is you want a fast moving average and a, long, a longer term moving average, okay? All right, now on the five minute time frame of Apple, same moving averages. Except in this, in this case, the 20 period moving average is averaging out the five minute closes and the 200 is averaging out the, the, the 200 of the five minute closes. Okay. And then, of course, the daily time frame. You see the blue line is averaging the last 20 daily closing prices. So imagine the price of the chart, the, the, pri the bars not being there and just focusing on the moving average, which would basically show you the 
stocks flow, the stocks trend, the stocks activity, the stocks life without the noise. And that's what moving averages are designed to do, to show you the flow of your your financial item or your stock without the noise. All right. So moving averages smooth out the data and show you what's going on without the noise. All right. That's the daily time frame. And of course, this is the weekly time frame. Again, same moving average on the weekly time frame. Every bar represents one week of trading here in Apple. All right. Red bars represent the weeks that went down where the stock fell for the week. All right. Green bars represent the weeks during which Apple rose for the week. All right. Simple so far. Simple, but very important concepts. Okay. Now, now let's get to, now that we know how to look at the markets or what filter to view market activity through, these four filters, two, five, daily and weekly. Let's talk about the seven, my seven trading concepts that we're going to apply to these four windows. So think of the time frames as windows. We've got a two minute window, a five minute window, a daily window, and a weekly window. Okay. We're going to apply seven trading concepts to each of these windows and let's cover them now. All right. Trading. This is what I call my mighty seven. All right. These concepts are simple but very powerful, and I'm going to touch lightly upon them today so that you get a, the general gist of what, um, what, they're, what they are. First, cycle, my cycle concept, all right, which basically states that the market has one bell-shaped curve or one cycle that it repeats over and over and over again, all right? I'll talk about this. I'm just going to peruse through the list right now, but we'll talk about it when we go back to charts. So one bell-shaped curve, one cycle. Market only has one cycle that it repeats itself. If you understand this, all right, you take large leaps toward playing the markets correctly. Position, all right? My position concept states that there is an above, there is a, there is a, a position at which your stock is above above something and below something. And a lot of people get this position wrong. So they play the markets, they play an above market like it's a below market and they play a below market like it's an above market. We're gonna get to this in detail, right? But we, ne I need to get you to understand how to identify what position your stock is in. Is it above or is it a below? position. Location is different from position. Location is based on my concept of near and far. We'll talk about this, right? You have to know if you are dealing with a stock that is above or below. And also you have to know if you're dealing with a stock that is near or far. We'll talk about this. Direction. You have to know what the dominant direction of your stock is. Is it rising or declining? You need to know your stock state. What state is it? Is it in a narrow state, a narrow state, tight state, or wide state? I should have wide there. Narrow, tight, or wide. And we need to cover my power and color concept. All right? This is a power concept and a color concept. Again, I'm just mentioning them. We're going to go over them in detail in just a bit. And then, of course, we need a protection concept, which is my one bar loss concept. Now, I'm going to make sure that you at least understand the fundamentals behind these seven things before we leave today so that you, no matter what you do after this event, you should be able to not only see the markets through these four windows differently than you ever have before, but you should start playing those four windows differently as well through these seven things. Now, let's go. Let's go to some real charts here. All right, enough of the slides here. And in a second, I'll take you to some charts here. Let's go. All right.
Okay. Let me make sure. Boom. Okay. Now, we're looking at my live trading platform. If you look in the lower right-hand corner here, you'll see my trading. I traded 20 minutes today, traders. And um, I traded, I don't know if you can see that, Microsoft and Apple here today. Um, 20 minutes, managed to pull out of the markets here. $2,000 on, on Microsoft and $746 on Apple. And um, I traded with about 50 of my traders here this morning uh, doing these trades. But anyway, what I want to show you is I want us to go to these four windows that we talked about, the two-minute, the five-minute, the daily, and the weekly. And I want to show you a few things. So let's start off with the larger time frame. What you're looking at right now is you're looking at a stock called Moderna. All right. This is one of the stocks. This is one of the companies that produce the vaccines, uh, Moderna, Moderna vaccine. Now, listen, I want you to know that we have a 20 period moving average. Every bar represents one week of trading. All right. We've got a 20 period moving average. Now, my system doesn't show enough bars to give you the 200, so I'm going to have to draw that in for you, all right? Your 200 is looking something like that, all right? Okay. So each bar represents one week of trading. We've got a 20-period weekly moving average and a 200-period weekly moving average, okay? Now, remember the concepts, the seven concepts. One of those concepts is above is position above or below now this is a very easy concept all right uh, is your stock spending the vast majority of its life is your stock spending the vast majority of its life above these two moving averages yes or is your stock spending the majority of its life below these two moving averages and of course, the answer is very obvious. Moderna is spending the majority of its life above the 20 and the 200 right now. That might change some, somewhere down the line, a year from now, eight months from now, two years from now. But right now, Moderna is spending the majority of its life above the moving averages. Now, you would be surprised how many people don't start here when they should. Because when your stock is spending the majority of its life above these two moving averages, that's the position concept, your goal is to buy the dips, not to short, not to bet on the downside, not to get bearish, not to think that the world is going to come to an end in this particular stock, all right? Your goal is to regard every single decline as a buyable decline if your position is above. And I cannot explain to you how many people go broke in this business, how many people lose everything they have getting position wrong. This is probably, traders, this is probably the number one reason why most people blow up. This is probably the number one people reason why people go broke in my business. They play position wrong. They get too cute. They get too confident. They get too cocky thinking that they can go against position. Over time, you might get lucky once. You might get lucky more than once, but over time, position wins. To bet on the downside, you want a stock that is spending the majority of its life under those two moving averages, not above, okay? So when we are above, drops are good. They're not bad. No matter what the news says, no matter what they tell you, no matter what an analyst says, no matter what a YouTube star is telling you, if it's above, if it's spending the majority of its life above, the drop should be bought, okay? There are some exceptions. We can't go over those now. But generally speaking, 
This is the truth. And this will keep you out of trouble for the rest of your life. If you, if you get position right, above drops are good. Below rallies are false. Just the opposite. All right, let's continue. Now, that's the position concept. Now, remember there's a location concept I spoke about. Location. Location is different from position. Location is near or far. So what location states asks is, is your stock near one or both or the other moving? Is it near a moving average or is it near? Is it near? It doesn't have to be touching. It can be a little above or a little below, but is it near? Is it near? Is it near? I'm going to repeat this over and over again. Is it near a moving average or wait a minute? Is it far away from a moving average is it away is it away you see is it away and this is the second concept well there's no particular order to these concepts but this is the second concept i want to explain to you that once you have position above or below correct the next thing you should want to get correct is, am I near one of my moving averages or am I far away from both of them? Here, Moderna is far away from the 20 and assuming the 200's here more or less, it's far further away from the, the 200. I'm f look at the space between the stock and the two, the 20 here and look at the space between the stock and the 200. All right. Space. Space. Now, again, are you near? Are you near one or both? Are you near? Are you near? Are you near? Are you near? Now, you should know right off the bat where I'm going with this because both of these locations require you to act. You see, when we are near, your stock is above, then we, when we are near, we're looking to go in. When we are far, we're looking to come out. When we are near, we're looking to get in. When we are far, we're looking to get out. This is simple, but extraordinarily powerful, traders. I need you to understand this. That not only is position a general, powerful guide, location starts to become even more specifically powerful. Okay? You'll have no, you have, most of you have no idea how many people do not understand that. Look at this. Check this out. That stocks should not be bought far away. Stocks should not be bought far away. Stocks should not be bought far away, far away. And some people say, well, Oliver, I buy new highs. Well, that's wrong. Well, what do you mean, Oliver, that's wrong? People tell me all the time. But Oliver, how, how can, I've, I've been taught by so many people that says buy new highs. I'm saying, no, that's wrong. My traders don't buy new highs. What do you mean you don't buy new highs? No, we don't buy new highs because new highs are moving away. We buy pullbacks to near. We sell to those traders who often buy new 
highs. Let's get into this a little deeper. It's getting interesting. We're just warming up. Okay? Check this out. Now, okay, take a look at Moderna moving to a new high. Look at this. New high. We move to a new high and we fail. We move to a new high and we fail. Not every time, but a lot of the times. New highs have a 72% failure rate because of the low Location concept I'm explaining to you. If the new high takes you far away, it should be sold, not bought. So let's correct all of those incorrect people out there leading people to financial ruin, telling, teaching them to buy new highs. Doesn't work 72% of the time. Now, there are certain new highs that are not far away. Those can be bought. So a good trader needs to be able to distinguish, distinguish is the new high far away or is the new high being made not far away? That one I can do, but the one that's far away, I'm selling that one, not buying that one. I hope this is understood, all right? Which new highs to buy and which ones not to. So we should be, so if we should not be selling away, I mean, if we should not be buying away, we should be selling away. If we should, if, if we should, and we should be getting in near, getting in near, getting in near, getting in near. Now, this leads us to the next concept. We've got position, all right, above position. We've got position. In this case, it's above. It's spending most of its life above, right? We've got position, which means that now pullbacks to near are viable, all right? We've got location right we've got location set near and far okay near we're going to get in this brings us to color this brings us to my color concept and my power concept it's color and power actually all right but let's cover let's do cover color first a color change what I'm talking about when I mention color is just a simple color change near a moving average. So here's a color change. Here's a red bar that gets changed by a green bar, which means that the green bar takes out the red bars high. This is a color change. You got that? That's a color change. Okay. As a matter of fact, I should actually do these charts wider for you. Let's do it like that. Greater clarity. Cool. All right. So we have position. We have location near and far. We know we buy near and sell far, we have a color change near. So I'm looking for to buy a color change. What's a color change again? A red bar that gets flipped or changed by a green bar. Boom, that is the color change. Now, let's find any time now, all, oh, I have to mention this as well. Very important, traders. Your color change does not have to come on the very next bar. It can be like this. Then that's the color change. Or it can be something like this. Uh-oh. It can be something like this. Um, yeah, this, that's not a color change. You have to remember, you have to take the high of it out. It can come like this. So it didn't come on this one. 
the change happened on the third bar. So whenever the change happens near, near, near a moving average, near a moving average, near a moving average, color change near, color change near, position, stock spending most of its life above, location near, color change in. I hope you've got this. Near, color change in. All right, now. Look, uh, I might have to blow this up. Let's see. I'm going to do this here. There we go. All right. Okay, look. Let's get that 200 on there. Let's assume it's here. All right. Now, check this out. Smoke on this. Red bar near color change in. Red bar not too far away. Color change in boom okay red bar near color change boom 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 and there's that sound i want you to do that Go ahead. I'll give you. I'll, I'll give you your opportunity to do that. Do it. Do it. Do it for me now while I sip some coffee. I gotta. I'm, no, I'm not even gonna move on. I got. I'm gonna watch you do it. Do it for me. I want to see it. <laughs> do it. I want to see it here. I'm not going anywhere until I see it. There we go. I like it. All right. Don't give me those little tiny. It's not this. What is that? Oh, Oliver, it's that's not it. No, it's. <laughs> that's what we want. You know what I'm saying? That's it. That's what I want to see. Yes, 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 yes. All right. OK. Position above. That means wait for near. That's the way. You got it? You got it? Position above, now wait for near. That's it. If I'm above, if I've, if I've established my position above, I wait for near. What do I do near? Color change in. Boom. You got the order? This is a step-by-step -step approach to your money. Okay, position above, now wait for a drop to near. When you're near, wait for color change in. Boom! And that's the order, okay? Let's get back to it. Let's get back to it. I love this game. I love it so. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's do this. Let's do this. Why is it not working? Uh, boom. Boom. Is it not working? There we go. Okay. Let's do it. So we've got color change in. Boom. <laughs> color change in. Boom. <laughs> Remember, away you want to sell. Color change in. Away you want to sell. Color change in. Away. You want to sell. Away, you want to sell. Okay? Even here. Color change here. I don't know if you can see that. All right? You get another color change near. You can get two color changes before you get, get out. Boom. Color change one. Boom. Color change two. One. Two. Away. <laughs> Repeat. But Oliver, but Oliver, can I go, sh when I get out, can I go short? If it's, listen, there are exceptions where I'm going to say, yes, you can, but this is where you start to get into trouble. 
It is better to wait for the color change, 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 and play with the flow than try to get cute and play against the flow. Now, I do teach traders how to do it in those specific instances where you are super far away. Because if you're super far away, the drop is going to be sharp and there's an opportunity there. But generally speaking, you should not. It is better to pick on something weak. What's weak? Below, not above. All right. Now, what should we do next? I've got to teach you how to protect yourself. Oh, yes, this is the most important part. You've got to protect yourself. It's not all roses. It's not all wins. It's not all going to the bank. It's not all champagne and roses. I feel sorry for my translators. How do they translate me? Champagne and roses. Translate that. All right, so anyway, I've got to teach you how to protect yourself. So look, check this out. When I talk to you about a color change, right? Let's draw the color change again. And you're doing a color change near, near, right? This is a color change near. Let's say, all right? You're getting in right above. You don't wait for this bar to finish. Don't wait for that bar to finish. Get in right on that cross. Boom. See, get in right there as soon as it crosses. You don't have to wait. Boom. Now, where do you protect yourself? That's my one bar loss concept. You're entering this bar. If that bar breaks, you're out. Go lick your wounds and come back. That's it. Is that going to happen? Absolutely. Is there a way to not make it happen? Absolutely not. I'm stuck with this my whole life. Absolutely. There's no way to get rid of losses. No, never. But I promise you this. You will lose sometimes. You will get in here. You an example. You will get in on this color change right here. And sometimes you will have to get out right there. But look at this loss. And look at this win. But when you win, oh my God. Do you see the difference? This is what I call the snowman. Let me draw the snowman for you. Okay, I'm going to draw the snowman for you. This is your risk. This is your potential gain. That is an upside down snowman. Let's draw a little hat right there. Remember how you used to do snowman for those people who live in areas with snow? Little Oreo cookies for the eyes. Little, little twig, twigs for arms. I used to do that. Grab some old boots that no longer fit me. You know, something like that. Right, the little Oreo cookies for the. Yeah. Listen, I want you losing the head. That's fine. I want your prof profits to be fat like the body. We can lose the head. How many heads fit in that fat body? Many, 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 many heads. That's how you stay in this game. Let's do it again. Let's do the snowman again. All right, let's do it again. Look, this is your risk. You're in here. You're out there. So your risk is here. You're, this is your risk. But this is your potential gain. That's the kind of snowman we want. Do you understand? This is your risk. This is your potential gain. Now, some are going to be ridiculous snowmen like that. And some are going to be more normal. That's okay. 
snow, all snowmen are not the same size. But just make sure it's not, you're not a big headed snowman. That's the wrong way. You understand? This is a recipe for bankruptcy. Here's a hat. That's how you go broke. Where your head is 10 times bigger than your body. We don't want the reverse snowman like that. Okay? You got it? Got it, got it? Good. All right. We lose one bar. If this is the bar you buy, you lose this bar. If you lose that bar, you're out. If this is the bar you buy, if you lose that bar, you are out. If this is the bar you buy, you lose that bar, you are out. If this is the bar you buy, you lose that bar, you are out. Period. No questions asked. But Oliver, no buts. But Oliver, no. Wait, no. Is there no? In this, no. What if, no? No ifs, no ands, no buts, no questions, no this, that, or that, or the other. Just get the heck out. Okay? This is going to happen. You are going to be judged on how you get out. You are not going to be judged on. Ah, that's a switch, right? No, yes. Everybody wants to show me their. I don't want to see your. I want to see how you get out. I want to see your head. Do you have a freaking big head? Because if you have a big head, I don't want to know you. No big headed people. Do you understand me? I don't want big heads. I want little heads. Big bodies. I can deal with that. Little heads. Little heads. I want you walking around with a big giant head. All right? No big heads. I, as a matter of fact, I'm not even going to move on until you tell me. You got to tell me. All right? Tell me. I want to see it. Tell me. Tell me. No big heads. Just say it. I want to see somebody say it. No big heads. All right? No big heads. All right? No questions. We cut our losses at one bar and that's it i don't care what the planetary alignment of saturn is no excuses cut your loss at one bar i don't care what someone says on the news cut your loss at one bar i don't care what an analyst says cut your loss at one bar i don't care what the news is on the stock cut your loss at one bar i don't care what's going to be announced by the company tomorrow no cut your loss at one bar one bar one bar one bar you got a one bar your way to a big fat body. Because every, almost every gain is going to be more than a head. Almost every gain is going to be more than one bar. Sometimes your gains are going to be five bar, five bars. Sometimes your gains are going to be eight bars. Sometimes your gains are going to be 20 bars. Sometimes your gains are going to be four bars. Sometimes your gains are going to be three bars. Sometimes your gains are going to be 50 bars. But every single time you lose, it had better be one freaking bar. Small-headed people. We are small-headed people. We're the small-headed clan. There's a big-headed clan. We don't want anything to do with them. We are the small-headed people. <laughs> I'm crazy, I know. <laughs> no cabezas says grandes. All right, absolutamente. All right, let's go. Let's do this. I'm not done with you yet. I'm not done with you yet. I am not done with you yet. What am I doing here now? Let's do it. Okay. 
Boom. Why does it always do this? Boom. Okay. Wow. You know, the Chinese have always said that a picture is worth a thousand words. And it's true. Like, I can speak all day long about this one, one chart here. <laughs> Do you see what just happened? We were over here, remember? Let's do it again. Wait. And I was saying, look, here's your red bar. Once the green crosses the high of red near the moving average, right? And I know some of you were like, but wait a minute, look what happened. Yeah, but remember, this is your protection. You don't lose more than one bar. Here, you're out. But you never get out of here. Beautiful. It's beauteous. Uh-oh. There's another one. There's another one. See? Look. Near red. It's taken out. Boom. Protection. This is your risk. Here. You're out. Look at that. Boom. 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 Look, you're far. There is someone. Let me show you something here. There is someone, traders. There is someone. Who is. Who bought right there. And they're waiting for dear life. They didn't know. They didn't, they weren't here for this event. They didn't know about the concept of location. They didn't know that you're supposed to buy near, not far. So they bought here when all the news was great they bought when everything was being talked about positively they bought when this thing was winning far away from everything and so now they're waiting hoping that they get lucky look how big that head is that's, a, that's someone from the big head clan. We're not from the big head clan. We're from the small head clan. All right. Don't let that be you. Never again. Okay. Huh. We've got position above. We've got location near and far. We've got color change in near. Profit out far. Uh, far away. We've got that. We've got protect ourselves one bar, but we don't have the power yet. So remember I told you that there are two ways to get in. There's color and power or power and color. So we talked about the color way to get in, the color way to get in, the color way to get in. We need to talk about the power way to get in. And the power way is just, if you've got a power bar near, see this power bar near, power bar near, even if that power bar is not taking out a color, get into it anyway. As long as there's a power bar near, power bar near, not too far, all right, power bar near, power bar near doesn't have to be touching just not too far so the color change and or the power bar near the moving average in and those are the two ways we strike sometimes your power bar is not taking out the opposite color get in anyway so it's power bar in if it's power near the moving average 
If it's power away, that is not get in. You see, that is too far away. You're not getting into that one. You see, this power bar is too far away. You are not getting into this power bar, right? You are getting into this power bar. It is near. Look, it originates near. You are not getting into this power bar. It doesn't originate near. This one originates near. This one near. You see, this one near. You get the point. So color change and or power bar near. Color change near in. Power bar near in. Away out. If it doesn't work, one bar loss, move on. Wow. Simple, but powerful. It's crazy, right? Simple, but powerful. We are overcomplicating a rather simple game. I'm not saying it's an easy game. I will never promise you this. I will never tell you that it's an easy game. I will forever tell you it's a simple game. Simple doesn't necessarily have to be easy. Like get this basketball in that hoop 10 feet above your head from 50 yards back or from 50 feet back. That's simple. Put the ball in the hoop. Simple. Easy. No, that's how trading is. It's simple. Think about it. What I've explained here so far Two positions above the moving averages, below the moving averages. Well, first of all, let's take it to the beginning. There are two bars, red bars and green bars, boys and girls. Red bars and green bars. Yay. That's not, that's not rocket science. Red bars and green bars. There's two moving averages, 20 and 200. Yay. That's not rocket science. Then there's, there's two positions above the moving averages. Below the moving averages. Okay. There's two locations near the moving averages, Oliver, and far away from the moving averages. Is that complex? No. Okay. There's two ways to make money, buy and short. There's two results, win, lose. Guys, this is a game of twos. Two bar types, green, red, two positions above, below, two locations near, far. Two types of trade, long, short. Two types of results, win, loss. And two states, narrow and wide. That's different from near and far. That's our next concept. States. Now. I've got to um state 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 let's do let's do let's now go to if I can let's go to oh I don't know uh let's pick something like um I don't know if we do a Microsoft maybe yeah we can do a Microsoft here give me a second here. I get this here for you. All right, cool. Uh, boom. Let's do this again. Okay, cool. Microsoft. Now, what you're looking at, you're not looking at a daily or a weekly. You're looking at a, you're looking at a, two minute now we've gone all the way to the income side now we were on the wealth side right that's how you make big giant gains playing those concepts on the daily on the weekly now let's swing it to the income side we're going to make a uh, hundred to twelve hundred dollars in a trade that's income okay now i want to use this chart to teach you narrow and wide states this is different from near and far see when you're i want you to note that the 20 period moving average 
and the 200 and the stock are all close to each other. There are three items here. There's item one, the 20. There's item two, the 200. There's item three, the stock. When all three are clustered together, that's called a narrow state. Now, look at here. Here's your stock. Here's your 20. And here's your 200. That is called a wide state. Narrow and wide. Pretty simple here. Your best plays are going to come from a narrow state up or a move down from a narrow state. Your best times to take profits are from a wide state above or if you played the wide state below from a wide state below. All right. Now, this is today's activity, guys. This is today's Microsoft activity, but it started from yesterday. So um, Microsoft moved from a wide state. I mean, from a narrow state to a wide state. And what do you think it did after achieving this wide state? Well, of course, it went back to a narrow state. And there we go, right back to narrow again. Do you see this? Again, it's not freaking rocket science. Look. Narrow to wide and wide back to narrow. This is the one cycle concept. You see, market traders can only do this one thing. It can go wide and then it goes back to narrow. It goes wide and back to narrow. Wide and back to narrow. Repeat. Now, sometimes it goes wide to the upside and back to narrow. Sometimes it goes wide to the downside and back to narrow. But that's all over and over and over again. Wide to narrow. Wide up to narrow. Wide down to narrow. Wide up to narrow. Wide down to narrow. How are you going to play the markets properly? If you do not know whether your stock is currently in a narrow state or a wide state or in the middle of a narrow and wide, not quite narrow, not quite wide. You've got to know the three states. You've got to know, am I narrow, am I wide, or am I on the way to wide? Or coming back, am I on the way to narrow? So if we go back to this, check this out. This is narrow. This is narrow. This is wide. Now, you are on the way to wide. You are wide. Now you are on the way to narrow. So you've got narrow, wide, narrow again on the way on the way you've got to know how to read where you are to come up with the appropriate approach you're not going to be a buyer wide are you not anymore not after I've spoken to you today not after I've taught you today you will never be a wide buyer again ever you're going to be a narrow buyer of a stock moving out of its narrowness. You can jump on board along the way. You don't have to always catch it from the beginning. You can jump on board if it's an on the way state. All right. You can catch green being taken out along the way. You green being taken out along the way. Green being taken out along the way. But once you get narrow again, that game stops. 
You can buy green over red. I'm, there's none here, though, but green over red, green over red along the way. But once you get wide, that game must stop. So there are these three states, narrow, wide, and on the way. N wide, narrow, and on the way. And we want to play this properly. We want to play that properly, that properly, that properly, and that properly. And any trader, tra guys, look, anyone who is not playing the markets based on my seven concepts, and I know that sounds egotistical, but it's not. And in truth, and in a way, it's just my discovery of the fundamentals of proper market play. It's like discovering gravity. Like I didn't create gravity, but I discovered gravity. And because I know gravity's force and what it does, I can build around it. I can use that force. Do you understand? Um, and so if you are not playing the markets based on my concepts that I've discovered as the fundamental concepts behind proper market play, you are guessing and get, and therefore you are gambling period. It is period guys. Look, I've been doing this for 40 years, 36 professionally, maybe 35, 36 professionally guys. I'm telling you, I've done the work for you. I've, I've had all the losses. I've had the, 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 the winning and lose it all, winning and lose it all periods. I've, I've, I've gone to the brink of giving up. I've done all of that. I've discovered every way to lose. And therefore, loss is conquered, not eliminated, conquered. To conquer a people doesn't mean you have to eliminate the people. Right, To conquer loss doesn't mean that loss disappears entirely. So what I'm saying is I've gone through the period of negation. I have learned what not to do, which you have to learn first, which is the heart, which is what makes this game so difficult. It's simple, but what makes it difficult is that you first have to learn what not to do. You never can learn what to do before you first learn what not to do. And because you have to learn what not to do first, you have to lose first. And this is what makes the game difficult for people. They come into this game thinking as though you can win first and it can't happen. You have to discover what not to do first and you have to discover everything not to do. Not just a portion, everything. Not this. That's not it. 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 Until at a certain point, you don't, you, the only thing left is, ah, there it is. That's what I should be doing. You see, it's sort of like, it's sort of like trying to find a needle in a haystack. Imagine this huge haystack in a barn. There's like thousands upon thousands upon thousands of little needles of hay. But there's one silver needle, very tiny, somewhere in this huge 10-foot pile of hay. Now, if you think that you are going to walk around the haystack and say, ah, there is the pen, you are delusional. There's the needle, there's the silver needle that's never going to happen. You know what you have to first do? You have to pull a, a needle of hay off and say, that's not the one, that's not the one, that's not the one, until that haystack starts to come down. It's not 10 feet tall anymore, it's now six feet tall. Now it's five feet tall. When you get it down low enough, your odds of finding the shiny silver needle increase. But you have gone through such a, a, an, a such an, a, a thorough period of first discovery. Not this one, 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 not this one. Not this one not. There it is. And that's how you become 
a successful market player. But there are too many people in this industry trying to teach you that you can get the silver needle right away. You can get it now. You don't have to change yourself. You don't have to work on yourself. You don't have to go through a discovery period. You don't have to figure out what not to do. You can keep all of what not to do. You can keep your errors. You can stay undisciplined. You can just get the silver needle right now. Bull. You can't get the silver needle right now. Can you get the silver needle faster? Yes, if someone teaches you the fundamental concepts so that your discovery happens quicker, you will still have to discover because it will be theoretical in the beginning until it becomes actual, you will have to go through a discovery process to make the knowledge, not mine, yours. But that period should be a lot sm sh shorter because... You've got a huge head start at the having the fundamentals of proper market play laid out before you. So you start at a higher base. You start at a higher location. It's like having a VIP pass in front of hundreds of thousands of people waiting to get into the winning movie or the winning event. And this is what I do. I give you VIP passes. Yeah, that's me. VIP, man, that's me. I got some VIP passes. Okay. <laughs> Let's get back to the thing here, guys. Ah, I cracked myself up. All right, okay, what are we doing here now? Um, so I've got the position concept covered. I've got the, the location concept covered. I've got the the color change near i've got the near concept and far concept covered i've got the inter color change concept near covered i've got the enter a power bar near covered i've got the take profits a far away covered and i've got the narrow state wide state on the way state covered now um let's talk about let's let's look up let's look a little bit more at this let's look at moderna we were looking at moderna on the big time frame let's look at it on the little one. Oh, look at this here's today there you go this is yesterday and here's today now take a look we are you start off really narrow here from narrow to wide, relatively speaking, back, and now wide this way, all right? So now, what's interesting is that today, Moderna starts off its life, its first two-minute bar, it starts off its life near. This bar is near. Its bar is not up here, far away. It starts off near. You can be near the 20 or near the 200. And it starts off above, not below. See, below and red near, we'd be looking to play down. But this is not the case. We are green above and near. So your bet has to be upward. And I had traders today to play this for thousands of dollars. Today. Absolutely. They're, some of them are probably here. Maybe they'll type and let you know. I played this today. All right. What else did some, pl some players play today? Piton. Some players played Piton today. Look, two-minute chart. This is income producing. Look at the narrow state. Everything's close. Now, power above. It's not particularly close, but when we deal with a gap, this is going beyond our talk today, but we fill the gap in and pretend like it actually traded there. So the gap originated from near. All right, it's different. Like, let's say this, check this out. If, you're, if your gap is not, see, here's wide 
and now the next day your stock opens here. This is a gap from wide. But when it's a gap from narrow, this is a gap from narrow. It doesn't have to originate close because it started from yesterday's close. So the origin is near. So anyway, it's going a little bit for too a little bit too far, but that's just in case some of you had the questions, but that doesn't look close. It, it's close if you fill in the gap, okay? And if it gaps from a narrow state, it's a viable event. Boom, green. And look at your color change. Green takes out red. Boom, thousands of dollars today. Before 30 minutes, that's 30 minutes. Same concept I showed you on the bigger time for wealth is applied to the little time frame for income. And we want to do them both. Why not do why not be making income and building wealth at the same time? Why not? I've got some Tesla players here. I've got some Tesla traders. Tesla today. Look. Power near away. It's not rocket science. Narrow. Boom. Not rocket science. What what else? Um I think this was a big play for some of our traders today. Look at this. This is today. Look, September 9th. Look at today. You're relatively close. It's not like wide like this. See, this is wide, wide, uh, wide, 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 narrow. Boom! First bar of the morning starts under, below the moving averages near a moving average power jump in the power then color change what's the color change when you bet to the downside green and then it must break the low of green to bet down right that's not a bet down yet because it didn't break the low. But this is, look at this. Boom. Now your entry is under the green as long as you are relatively near a moving average. So that's the color play to the downside. Where's your protection? One bar here. Now find this location, find it on the chart. Find the green bar being eliminated by red near a moving average, find it. We found the color, here's the color play. Jump into power that's originating near out of a narrow state. Now find the next play, which is the color play red eliminating the bottom of a green bar near a moving average do you see it do you see it right there green the low of green boom there's your entry and where's your protection right above the high here's your risk and here's, that's your freaking head. We are not the big-headed people, remember that. We're the small-headed people, all right? And there is your body. There's your snowman. We might be fat, goddammit, but we're not big-headed. Do you understand me? We might be fat, but we're not. Big headed, we're fat with profits. <sniffs> mm. Still good, even when it's cold. Love it. I hope you're following these things. 
Guys, I, I say all the time, it's not rocket science. It's not. You know, so many people are making these things, making this game so much more complex than it needs to be. But they're playing with the odds so overwhelmingly against them because they're not starting with the right foundation. And that is what I have dedicated my post career to doing is putting out information that provides the right pieces of the right foundation, taking on traders that have an interest in doing it the right way. Um, and growing from the right foundation. You know, um, take a look at this. Oh, no, I did the wrong thing. Sorry. Go back here. This is Bitcoin. All right. Now, you should be able to look at this chart of Bitcoin. It is a it's a weekly chart. It's a wealth time frame. Right. And you should be able to talk to me through the concepts I've spoken to you about, shouldn't you? Look to the left-hand side of Bitcoin's chart. You should be able to say, Oliver, the blue line is the 20-period moving average. The red line is the 200-period moving average. You should be able to tell me that the price, Bitcoin's price, Bitcoin's 20, and Bitcoin's 200 are all clustered together. You should be able to tell me that, Oliver, this is Bitcoin's narrow state you should be able to look at kind of like the middle of the chart and tell me yes bitcoin up at sixty four thousand. so bitcoin at three to ten was in a narrow state bitcoin at sixty four sixty five thousand was in a wide state okay you should be able to tell me that uh this was one of the best times to expect great flow. And this was a time, perhaps, to take it easy a bit. You can take these wealth concepts and you can make a fortune. You should be able to tell me now going to the daily time frame. Oliver, on the left-hand side of the chart, well, we're kind of narrow. We go from narrow to wide. We go from wide back to narrow. You should be able to tell me that from wide, I should expect a rebound. And from wide this way, I should expect a pullback. You should be able to pull up anything. You should be able to tell me that now that we are above, that perhaps we hold near. We have to see. And you should be able to go to anything and on almost any time frame and be able to speak to me through these concepts. I could pull something up here like JP, JP Morgan. And if I were to show you something just wide like this, you'd be able to say, okay, Oliver, narrow, wide, wide, too wide this way, okay? Back up, narrow again, too more extended wide, 
And so you'll be able to see that the markets basically just vacillate between these states. Sometimes it's wide above. Sometimes it's wide below. Sometimes it's wide above. But knowing where you are in the cycle increases your odds of success. You should be able to tell me that this morning, I think, well, this is the, this is the daily. You should be able to tell me this morning in JPM, let's go to something like, a, let's go to a smaller time frame. You should be able to tell me, well, Oliver, here's power. This is today, the ninth, and there's my run away. It's, it's power near, and here's my run away. You should be able to tell me I'm not going to be interested in it anymore on the buy side there. I am far away. And look at how the cycle just moves from away to back to near again, over and over again. And we take these things, go to the left, and all you can see, look, look at the blue line will help you. Look, blue line to red is near. Blue line to red is near. Now, blue line to red is wide. Now, blue line to red is wide the other way. And all you do is vacillate wide this way, back to wide that way, back. And guess what? The market can't do anything else. There's nothing else. Nothing. Nothing. That's all it does. It's like a breathing mechanism. <sighs> Narrow. <sighs> wide. And that's it. Back. Up. That's all it does is breathe in and out. We have to know, all right, is it breathing out above this time? Is it breathing out below this time? Then, once we got that right, wait for near, near, boom, color change in or power near in, protect myself, one bar, away, take profits, repeat. That's it. There's not anything else. Once you have the fundamentals down, you just repeat. Now, if you want to make income, do that on the two and the five. You want to make wealth, do that on the daily and the weekly, like I showed you in Bitcoin or like I showed you in Moderna. Uh, and that's it. You change the window for the style, but you don't necessarily change the technique. It is the window that changes the style, not the style of play. It's the the time changes. So doing kind of the same thing on a two-minute chart is going to generate income. Doing that same thing on a weekly chart is going to generate wealth. But the concepts of one bar loss only are the same. The concepts of uh, the, the cycle going from, the, the state going from narrow to wide. The, the, the concept of being near a moving average and waiting for a color change or near the moving average and waiting for a power bar are all the same. The concept of taking profits away from everything remains the same. Now, there are, there are a variety of other pieces that fall into place here, but that goes beyond the scope of our talk today. But this is what I want to do with you. I want to take you traders on an income producing journey. And I also want to take you on a wealth building journey, not just wealth for yourself, 
not just wealth for your family, but generational wealth. Your goal should be to generate wealth for family members not even born yet. That's generational wealth. Your goal should be first to earn consistent income that is sufficient to support your life, a comfortable life. Then your next goal should be to produce enough income that you don't need it. Beyond that point, that's called storage. Wealth begins for those who begin to store. You, you see, the human species for a very long time was in just a, a hunter state. They hunted for their food, and when they finally found food, found a kill, they devoured everything and went hungry again. No storage. That's income without excess income. They would go hungry for another week, week and a half or so, find another kill, and they'd be so starving again, they'd have to devour everything. And so they went from hunters. Then, as their tools began to be better, their techniques, as their skill heightened, you're right, I'm speaking about you. As their, their arrows got sharper, as their bow and arrows got faster with more force and power, they were able to score more frequently. This pickup in their skill level, this improvement of their tools led to them to be able to eat more frequently, which meant that they were full before they finished everything, which then led the human species to have to store what was left over. Now, here's what's interesting. There were some groups that never reached the point of storage. They always went hungry after a kill. They never reached the point of having excess to store. They began to look at those who had excess to store as being their enemy. And this is where the first form of violence came into play. Violence from those who never got to the place of generating enough income to store some of it. And those who reached that point had to begin protecting themselves against those who never got to the place of storing. And this is where governments came into play. Those who got to the place of storage, who had to protect against attacks from those who didn't, would hire protectors to protect them. These people, representatives, began the first form of government. And they paid them a little to protect them against those who didn't score. So, in reality, the very concept of government, which is designed to protect the people, started from just protecting those who could store. Not all the people. That's not the role of government. The role of government is not to protect all the people. No, 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 no. That's the false dream. The real formation of government is to protect those who reached the point of storage, to protect them against those who did not store. And so, to this very day, Governments protect those who store, not those who don't store. They throw crumbs to those who don't store to keep them from attacking those who store. Why am I telling you this? Whether you believe that's the way things should be or not makes absolutely no difference in the world. My point is that you need to become a storer. 
You need to get your tools up. You need to get your skill level up so that, so that you can take your income level to the point of being able to store and use that storage to now move into wealth generation, wealth generation. You do not want to be left behind in the group that never reaches the point of storage because you will never be protected. You will be appeased but you will never be protected. Not in this world, not on this planet. Now, I don't know about other planets. I have yet to do intergalactic travel. Or I'm waiting for one of these billionaires to accomplish that. But until then, I can only tell you about planet Earth. It might be different in another galaxy, but in this galaxy, on this planet, your rights, rights and freedoms go to the stores. Rights and freedoms go to those who get their income to the point of having excess and those who use that excess to begin to build wealth. And that's when you become protected by the system, protected by the way things are. And that is my specialty, traders. My specialty from the trading perspective is to teach you that is to teach you how to first start generating consistent income, then how to get that income to the point where it takes care of your life, then how to get that income that's taking care of your life to the point where you have excess storage, and then how to take that storage, go to a bigger time frame, and start freaking generating wealth for yourself. And then after you're generating wealth for yourself, there's a point of excess with the wealth where now you're generating wealth for people not even born your children's children and their children and that's what every single person should be going for those specific stages and that's what i want to help you do that's what i want to help you do so traders with that being said what I'd like to do, if I may, is I'd like to talk to you about two programs that I have. Now, these programs are not for everyone. I understand that. But they might just be for you. So I want you to give me 10 minutes to walk you through these programs. One's an income-generating program, and one's a wealth-generating program. Let's just see if this is for you. Some of you are already in the program. You know I love you to death, mm, right? But let's just see. This might just be for you. The first thing is the self-start trading program. All right, um, this is a pro this is an income generating program where look, we work with you. I work with you every single day to generate the skills, the talent to generate income. The goal is to take you to a daily income producer, right, through this program. Now, many people say, well, Oliver, I just don't have the money necessary to trade the markets. Well, that is no problem here because you trade my capital. Now, you can trade your capital if you want, but the vast majority of people trade my capital. I put the money up. I put the capital up. In fact, it's proven that you will do better if you trade my capital. You're far less careful far less disciplined with your capital than you are with my capital. Why? You won't want to disappoint me. And so I start every single trader off with $50,000, but first they have to go through training. That training level is here. They show me with a $50,000 practice account that they can produce $3,000. Now, once they produce $3,000 in net profits with that $50,000, utilizing the trainings that they get every single day, they get trained every single day of their entire lives. Once they reach $3,000, they graduate and that $50,000 account is real. Once it's real, we are partners. Their goal is to make $3,000 again. They get 40%. I get 60% of the gains. But remember... They get the smaller piece because they risk zero. I risk. I put the money on the line. 
They put nothing on the line except their time and their dedication. If the trader loses my capital, it's my fault. I mean, I'm going to kill you. No, I'm not. I'm only teasing you. But if the trader loses my capital, then it's my fault. That means I did not teach you well enough. Period. Once the trader passes level one, they, that $50,000 account becomes 100000 And then their goal is 6000 They get 40%. I get 60%. Now, guys, when I first started this program, all right, there was no training level. Everyone did. There was a very short period of training. Everyone went straight to live. Now, because of this, I have approximately 2,800 live traders throughout the world. I would say that 600 of them have actually gone through this program when I began to extend the level and sophistication of the training, the training. All right. But that is out of thousands upon thousands upon thousands of traders. This is not for everyone, but there's no better way to find out than doing it where you are not losing your capital. You are not risking your family. This is the very best way to do it. Otherwise, you will have to put up 25000 or more in an account to day trade, like I've taught you to do today. And if you go $1 below $25,000, you can't do it. That is law. Instead here, you don't need $25,000. In fact, you get $50,000 and can grow that to a hundred, to fifty, five hundred thousand, so forth and so on. Now you get 40% of the gains. I get 60% of the gains. If you lose the capital, you do not have to pay the capital back. That is my risk. That's the risk I take. This is the income producing side. You get training every single day. As long as you have my capital in your hands, you will always be trained every single day. There is someone by your side virtually every single day. You will be part of a very amazing community of traders that are also there for you. A community of traders in English, a community of traders in Spanish, a community of traders in Portuguese. And so this is the equity. This is the income producing equity program. And then there's the wealth producing program. Now, this is where you are trading your account, your capital. But we meet together. We play wealth plays together. We scour the earth for opportunities like Bitcoin at 3,800. That's right. Like Microsoft at $18. Like Apple at, well, last play, $90. Not, well, no. No, long before that. Well, that's before the split. But you get the point. We scour the earth for wealth opportunities and we play them together. We build our long-term accounts together. Every single play I make, you will know about it before I make it. I show you what I'm doing with my real accounts, real time. You see the amount of money I put into place, how frequently I'm going in, when I'm coming out. We have live study sessions together to find the very next opportunities, to pick our entry points, to know where we're going to protect ourselves. You get this for life. So for as long as I live, as long as you live, as long as you want to, you will know every single move I make in the markets. And let me tell you, 2020 was the biggest year of my life. And all of my wealth traders came along for the ride. This program has been in existence for, since 2009. Imagine what we did from 2009. We rode the market in ways that most people would not even believe. 
And so this is the wealth program where we walk through our wealth plays together. We do them together, step by step, every buy, every sell, every protection point. What to get into? What should we take profits in? What to hold on to? And so this is how we attack the markets from both sides, the income side and the wealth side. Now, you can do these individually. The income program is $1,700. Guys, it may look big, but it's not. Break that cost over a daily cost for five years, three years, one year. We spend more on ridiculous things. It costs, it takes 12 years to finish grade school, to finish fundamental education. 12 years. And most people won't even put a year into building their whole financial future. 12 years to finish, to get through high school. That's crazy. It takes eight more years after that to become a doctor, seven more years to become a lawyer, two more years to become a freaking hair dryer in a salon. It's crazy. A year to do nails. In a salon. Two years to become a masseuse. Three years to become a trained mechanic. People won't put six months a year into their financial wealth, their financial income. That's crazy to me. Now you can put up $1,700 or put up $25,000 on your own. It's up to you. Right, But I believe the vast majority of people should do this. All right? That cost broken down by day is small. The wealth program is 4000 but remember that is a program for life for the rest of your living days, for the rest of my living days. In one wealth plate, we can get that back. In one month, sometimes in one week, sometimes in one day. Of course, the entire cost for both is $5,700. For those who are ready to attack the markets from the income side as well as the wealth building side, that's for you. But I've got a special price for you. Not today. Those who act early, you're going to go from $5,700 to $2,900. let us call it $3,000. That's crazy. $3,000, everything. Break $3,000 down over a five-year period. Let's say you're going to give yourself five years to master both of these, to do both of them, to accomplish both of them. Five years. What's $3,000 divided by five years? Now, what's that amount divided by day? And you come up with a freaking cup of coffee. For a cup of coffee, you can see if this is for you. For a for a cup of co- for the cost of a cup of coffee a day, you can potentially build generational wealth, learn how to get your income up, be trained and educated by true professionals every single day of your life. Or are you going to continue trying to do it watching YouTube videos and listening to 19-year-old people claim to be professionals? Or are you going to continue trying it yourself, opening up another brokerage account for thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 only to lose the vast majority of that and go back to the drawing board? No professional does this. Limit, every professional limits their loss. Your loss Your potential loss is this. There are people who get cosmetic surgery that goes away in a few years for more than that. This is far more important than that. 
I want to do this. I wish I could do it for free. I wish, I truly wish. But this is business. There's cost, there's expenses, there's trainers to, to pay, there's technology to pay, there's bandwidth, there's employees, there's support. But you won't find anything like this in this industry. Nothing. It's up to you. You can do this, traders. I want to do it with you. I want to be there every step of the way with you. Guys, anyone who joins the Wealth Program, you're automatically inducted into my Bitcoin Trading Club, which is closed. We have been rocking with Bitcoin. We've been playing from $3,800, and we're about to move into the fattest, most profitable part of the year. You haven't seen anything yet it's going to be amazing i'm going to tell you i told you so by december you'll see let's do this guys trading oliverbelez.com let's do it now i want you join the family be a part of this revolution we are global we're international and i want to be i want you to join us and i promise you if you do this i will dedicate virtually every waking hour investing in you building you improving you i will be with you every step of the way and i will not let you down i will not stop i will not quit you will quit before i quit that is the way i am that is who i am let's go traders let's do this Thank you. Thank you all for coming, guys. Thank you for taking out your precious, for using, utilizing your precious commodity to spend time with me. Thank you for lasting until the end. Thank you for your passion. Thank you for your dedication. Thank you for your interest. Thank you for your support. Guys, smash that like button, right? Leave a great comment once we close this live for me, please. Help the algorithm or help Al Gore's rhythm, please. Do that. I love you. You're my babies. Woo! And another one. Boom! Boom! <laughs>